Uh, these hats are kind of small. I guess it's because they're made in Sri Lanka. And maybe my head's bigger than it used to be. Okay, here we are in the Schofield garage on Project He Hate Me with a throwback 1995 edition Schofield Brothers racing cap I found. Uh, I've got some t-shirts, but this big boy can't fit a nose anymore from what he was in 1995. I'm, I was half the man I am now, I guess. Uh, these hats are kind of small. I guess it's because they're made in Sri Lanka. And... I think my head's bigger than it used to be. Anyway, um, follow along. We're gonna we're gonna go on a trip. We are going, or I am going, and you're gonna watch. The three of you watching. I'm going to MIG silicon bronze braze as I get a little table set up to put the camera on. That's the problem of doing videos by yourself. Is how do you film it and uh, oh. so today you can follow along as I try silicon MIG brazing so I have silicon bronze wire in my MIG welder the MIG 170 titanium from Harbor Freight the idea behind that is I don't know how to TIG weld. I have a TIG welder. I tried it for about an hour. I can uh, I can burn beads on one piece of metal, but trying to join two pieces of metal and run the filler rod in, I'm still not very good at. So I've got like maybe 20 minutes of practice. I got frustrated after having to grind the uh, tungsten like three times in 10 minutes. I gave up. Um, probably should maybe in the winter time get back to that. That's probably a good skill to learn, but I've got some silicon bronze wire for the MIG welder. Because um, what I want to do is over here on the A pillar is, um, can you see, can you see what I see? Where? Okay, so right in there, right in there, we got some holes where I had to weld, make this entire piece. I've got some some holes in here there's another layer behind this so this is the outer skin it's completely missing like right in here so i'm going to try my hand at silicone bronze mig brazing and see how that works so you can follow along and see how elaborate of a fail this could be or if this is the secret to life itself we'll find out okay so this is um this is 16 gauge material. Um, I've seen some people say the silicon bronze will run cooler with more wire speed. I just watched a video of a guy just pretty good looking work and he said it runs the same speed or faster. So 16 gauge, I think. Let's see what the titanium recommends. Cheap sheet inside the welder. If we were using uh, 023 or 025 uh, mild steel wire, 16 gauge, uh, all for about 17 volts, 190 inches per second. So I've got it from the start. It's uh, 17, 17 volts, but 220 on the wire speed somewhere. Hopefully that fan's not too loud, but it's freaking hot. So you're gonna have to deal with the background noise. I can put on some cool music in the background when I edit this. Well, let's just see what happens. Let's just strike a couple of beads and see what happens. Oh, and I have it on an aluminum plate that I found. This is the heat sink keep from burning my little cheap ass workbench up. Sure, I'm not on grind and blind myself. Ooh, 
wire speed way too slow. So let's try 280. Looks pretty good. Real fat bead. Maybe too fast on the wire speed. Let's bring it back down to 280. Oh, it's really hot over there now, so let's try over here. Sounds really weird. The heat was warping this. Let me go. Get, oh, look at that! It's it's moving right now. Let me go get another pair of vice grippies. I can pipe that back down. Let's weld the the seam and see what happens. Let me weld this butt joint. Let's see what happens. Well, this butt joint. If you ever wondered how much sheet metal warps, there's a visual representation of it in action. See the the gap is so tight I can't see it. It's not really bringing a lot of light to it. Since it's a sheet metal, I probably wouldn't want to weld a continuous bead like that. And it's putting a whole lot of heat into it. Let's see how we turn the bolts down. Keep the wire speed up. What are we getting now? Less heat. That's uh, 16 and a half volts. I think that's a lot less heat. the voltage down here at the end. That one looks pretty good too. This one is really wide. That's just too much voltage, too much not moving fast enough. But that looks pretty good. That's uh, 320. I don't know if that's really inches per second, but on this machine it's 320 and 16 and a half volts. That looks really good. How hot is this piece? It's not super hot. Let's, um... Oh yeah, it is. It's, it's kind of hot. But these are my rusted out vice grips or vapor rust cleaned. And if you had seen them before, you would be a believer in the vapor rust. Put it over. We had a gap there, we had some leak through. But it's got good 
a good um, heat signature. The last one looks better where I turned it down, so I think that's what I'm going to go with over on the car. Okay, we are on the move to the other side. Not really sure where you guys can sit and not get knocked over. See that? That. Right there is where I just welded. I like it. Are we in frame? We're in frame. Okay. Still kind of a before shot. Even though I've already done that one. Let's get this light out of our faces. All these holes up here, let's see what happens. So I can do this now. Build some of that in. Man, it is hot. I'm afraid to turn the fan over this way, blow my shielding gas away, but I got to do something. This bad boy is starting to sweat. Okay. We can fill this hole in.
because it's a hot one. Okay. Let me show you what we got going on. So, a little bit of a hole up and back up there in our ground, but that's where the holes were. As you can see, this stuff is super easy to grind. And uh, this is up under the, the cowl. So the cowl is the finished surface that the gasket for the windshield goes on starting about right in here. So I'm trying to just grind that down into a good transition. Right there you can see the factory um, brazing. So I'm just trying to get this into a smooth transition. I'll probably put a, a sanding disc on my uh, air grinder to get in here and just kind of smooth this out and uh, finish it a little bit more. You can see there's a a bulge right there of course like I said this isn't super critical it's never seen because it'll be under the um, top cowl got a inner cowl which is up there and then the top cowl sits on top of that so I'll let the uh, air compressor have a break for a minute and then uh, weld these holes up grind them down gotta get something over here maybe the maybe the cutoff this on the, the death wheel maybe I'll get in there and buzz that down flatten it out smooth it out right in here I need to fill that hole in right there this is a body line right here so I don't need to fill it in gotta figure out how to get it smoothed out got some pinholes opening up got some holes right in there but over here so far it looks pretty good I might add a little bit right in there and grind that back down smooth but Looks good so far. Okay, so I've built it up a little more. Oops. Gonna grind that down and um, probably call this a success. All right, I'm gonna cut my air compressor a little slack, but I'm feeling that this will not give me the same results but I do need this to get in here and knock this jingle ball off Let's see what the flapper the flapper does well, I probably should get some face shield action on since this stuff just shreds and I can feel it in my eyes already. Yes. Yeah. 